and download the app whenever you get a chance. Thank you, John. We have an update tonight on a local Army veteran who was almost forced out of the Mandarin nursing home where he lives because of a payment dispute with the Veterans Affairs Administration. Yeah, we introduced you to 75-year-old Vietnam veteran Dwayne Wilson earlier this month. He lives at the terrace of Jacksonville. Wilson and other veterans had been told they would have to move out by today because the nursing home was considering ending its contract with the VA over unpaid bills. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spoke with Wilson's son again who says the veterans will now get to stay. It makes it a little bit easier, gives you more opportunity to, to spend some time with them. Much of this week and for the last month, things have been dreary for David Wilson and his father. Hey, it's all right. But just three days before Dwayne Wilson and the other veterans at this nursing home were supposed to move out, David received a ray of sunshine. Yesterday was an awesome day, so it was, it was exciting and, you know, I was busy texting friends and calling people, letting them know that, you know, thanking them for, our, for their prayers and letting them know that yes, sir. he's getting to stay. Hey. And that was the news this son was praying for. The owner of this nursing home couldn't stand to see vets go. And in the last two weeks, the home was able to work out payment schedules with Veteran Affairs, allowing Mr. Wilson to keep the family he'd grown to love for the last three years and remain in the same facility his wife of 50 years now calls home. Dwayne would have given his heart to anybody. He would have had hamburger, he'd have nothing. He'd say, go ahead, take it. I'm not hungry. I'll eat later or anything. Dwayne was always sharing. More than a veteran, Chantel says her husband is a family man who loved fishing, his grandchildren, and now he will continue to love the place this family calls home. When you get that opportunity, you know, you, you maximize as much as you can. Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. As for the back pay, we're told the VA has made several payments to the nursing home but is still working on getting fully caught up. When they play each other in basketball,